Coming to order. Roll call, Terry, please. Burns? Yes. Sharkman? Here. King? Here. Coulter? Here. Lashow? Here. Layman? Here. Marham? Here. Bozier and the Benefuse? Osborne? Here. Dalhoff? Here. Please stand for the invocation and the pledge. As we gather here today as members of the Lewis County Legislature, we pray that we are ever mindful of opportunities to render our service to fellow citizens and to our community, keeping in mind always the enduring values of life, exerting our efforts in those areas and on those things upon which future generations can build with confidence. Let us continue to strive to make a better world. Amen. Amen. Legislators. My name is Christopher Skipper. I'm the current president of the Turin Ridge Riders Snowmobile Club in Turin, New York. I'm also a proud resident of West Turin. I'm honored to be here tonight to speak to you on, on behalf of our board of directors, our 1,523 Snowmobile Club members, and most notably and most importantly, our 50 plus generous landowners on our snowmobile trail system. I'm here tonight as I'm aware that resolution 196 dash 2019 is being considered in support of Senate Bill 6017 Griffo and House Bill 1632 Blankenbush to provide a tax credit to snowmobile landowners at a rate of 10 cents per linear foot of snowmobile trail capped at a maximum of $750 per year. As the Turn Ridge Riders we ask that the Lewis County legislators pass this resolution in support of the reference New York House and Senate bills. Doing so would be a great step in supporting our snowmobile trail loan landowners, many of whom are also farmers, and also a great step in further securing the future of a large portion of our local economy, which is winter tourism. As most of you are aware, similar legislation has been proposed in recent history by both the New York House and Senate and has failed to pass for a multitude of reasons. If the res resolution and the reference House and Senate bills should be again unsuccessful, I would ask that the Lewis County legislators work with the Lewis County Snowmobile Association, the Progressive Snowmobile Clubs of Lewis County, and the snowmobile <laughs> landowners to implement an alternative but equally effective solution that can be implemented at the local level. In closing, the Turn Bridge Rider Snowmobile Club applauds the Lewis County legislators for considering resolution 196-2019 and for considering alternative methods to support our snowmobile trail line landowners. As a club, we are eager to assist however we can. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else for approval to the floor? If not, we'll move 
presentations of communications and notices here. The board acknowledges receipt of resolutions enacted by the Madison and Seneca County legislatures opposing the state proposed driver's license access and privacy act from the Cattaraugus and Sullivan County legislatures opposing enactment of the Farm <coughs> Workers Fair Labor Act from the Livingston County Legislature opposing the planned closure of the Livingston Correctional Facility. From the Schuyler County Legislature calling upon the New York State Controller to audit Western New York Off-Track Betting Corporation and urge them to honor freedom of information laws. From the Wyoming County Legislature requesting amendment of the Real Property Tax Law to include exemption of potato storage facilities built for the sole purpose of storing those ag produce. From the Niagara County Legislature opposing to designate New York State as a sanctuary state for illegal immigrants, which is in direct conflict with federal immigration laws. From the Green County Legislature opposing state legislation that would expand the scope and definition of public work activities to require contractors to pay prevailing wages and benefits for any projects that receive state money or tax breaks from IDAs. And that is the course line. Thank you, Terry. Reports of county officers and departments. Treasurer Patty O'Brien and Real Property Tax Director Candy Aiken submitted an approved application for a $646.14 refund or credit of real property taxes from John L. Closter in the town of Pinckney. Legislators have each received copies of the Treasurer's May report, the May Highway and Solid Waste Audit reports, and minutes of the May 15 Youth Bureau Advisory Board and March 7 Health Services Advisory Committee meetings. And that concludes reports. Thank you, Terry. Reports of standing committees. Ron Brewer has it. He'd like to yeah. motion. I'd like to make a motion, please. A uh, motion to authorize refilling the Director of Human Resources slash Personnel Officer position due to the impending retirement of Chris Bolio, effective July 31, 2019. Moved by Ron, second by John. Discussion? If, if we vote no, does he stay? <laughs> um, I tried to rip a letter up and uh, didn't get it. Okay. <laughs> Further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. <coughs> Terry, General Services Committee. Excuse me. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I have uh, three motions. And uh, the first one is a motion to authorize refilling solid waste administrator's position due to the impending retirement of Pete Wood, effective 6-30-19. Moved by Terry, um, discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Carried. Okay, my second motion, a uh, motion to authorize Recreation, Forest, and Park Director Jackie Mahoney to advertise uh, for bids for a new website. Moved by Jerry, second by Ron. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Carried. And third is a motion to authorize Jackie Mahoney to advertise uh, request for proposals for singing water, singing water septic installation. Moved by Jerry, second by Tom. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Carries. That's all I have. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Jerry. Greg, Health and Human Services Committee. Yes, uh, the, only th the one thing I have is a, I have a motion. Uh, motion to authorize Social Service Commissioner Jennifer Jones to refill a program examiner effective immediately due to an impending retirement. Moved by Greg, second by Dick. Discussion? In favor? Aye. Uh, Aye. Opposed? Carried. I also, I also wanted to mention um, of the uh, Doe Play Board uh, meeting last, well, last week. And they are going to have a grand opening uh, for their youth and uh, senior center that's right here in the old Duflo 
Realty Office, and they would like as many legislators to come to that open house and see what they've done to that building. They've done quite a bit of remodeling inside, new flooring, that way everybody would see the activities that they've got planned. Would you repeat that date, please? It is the night, June 19th at 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. And that's all I have. Questions for Greg? <coughs> Thank you, Greg. Dick is the board's hospital board. Just a couple of things. Just, uh, I'll try to be brief. Uh, we had a public comment session similar to ours here that we have, and uh, Mrs. Sylvia Woodhouse shared with the board a letter that she'd written on behalf of herself and a Parkinson's support group. The group was developed 2018 with the help of Randy Lehman. He's our director of rehab services. It continues to meet on the third Thursday of the month at 1.30 p.m. at the hospital. Mrs. Woodhouse noted she originally had to travel one hour to and from the closest certified LSVT therapist when she was first diagnosed 23 years ago. With the help of Mr. Lehman, she was able to transfer her care back to Lewis County General Hospital in 2017, and she, to this day, continues to go there, and it has increased the quality of her life tremendously. She expressed her gratitude for hospital administration staff for making this important program available here. And I mention that only because I've been on the board for quite a while, and I didn't know about it, so uh, I wanted to give it a little visibility. Uh, Meditech staff will be back on site in June or July to answer any questions and concerns provided by additional training. And since we had that meeting last Friday night about 4 o'clock, I opened up my mail that I got and I had a bill for considerable thousands of dollars. <laughs> my wife, as some of you may know, has had a couple of bad accidents that met, uh, no, no fault is funding. And the Meditech system, they can't cover everything. So what it does, if it's a third party payer like <coughs> the insurance company and, and no fault, if it hasn't been paid in 18 months, it kicks it to the patient. <laughs> so we're gonna put a, a, a couple of notices out that if you do get one of those, don't have a heart attack like I almost did, <laughs> just call up, explain the situation and they will put it back in the system. So, enough of that. They're going to now do a committee structure at the hospital, similar to ours. Lucky me, it's going to be on the third Monday of each month. Ours, as you know, is on the third Tuesday. So I will be there busy those two days. Uh, they're going to run it for now to the end of the year, similar to what we did for six months, and then look at the good, bad, and the ugly of it and make a decision, either keep it or do something different. But for anyone that would like to make our committee <coughs> meetings, it's the third Monday of the month, beginning at 4 p.m. <coughs> and we had a gain of... 303,000 for April compared with a budgeted gain of 188. Our year-to-date surplus is 245, 452. The outpatient area recorded record <coughs> revenues for the month and some other areas that were high. We had inpatient revenue in OR was high, med surge, ER, observations. You'll hear a little more about that in a minute. Nuclear medicine and shop. And then uh, our most positive areas for the month of April, acute and observations hit their third time highest ever. Uh, observation actually hit their highest all time. Uh, ambulatory surgery hit their highest in six months. Extended hours, third highest in all time. Dermatology, second highest in all time. So those areas are getting, getting real good usage. Uh, Mr. Hellinger, our finance officer, shared that we're getting a rural health access grant in the amount of 929,000, give or take a little bit. It's a five-year grant. We're gonna be putting together a group to determine how our facility will utilize these funds, but that's positive for the hospital to get that. And the building department up there received their first online payment today, which would have been last Wednesday. So they're changing over like we're looking at tonight with some of ours. And that's everything. Thank you, barring any questions. Questions for Dick? Thank you, Dick. How many manager? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, <coughs> two weeks ago.
weeks ago, I had the pleasure of spending um, the day with my fellow county manager and administrator colleagues in Syracuse, and uh, NISAC was there and gave us an update on some things happening in Albany, so um, I figured I'd pass along some of that information to you guys today. Um, some of the stuff might sound familiar, we kind of talked about it at budget time. Um, the state budget is complete, obviously wrapped up. Um, an interesting fact, 60% of the state budget at this point is Medicaid and school aid. So if you start thinking about the big picture with the state of New York, if Medicaid and school aid goes up at 3% a year, which it traditionally has, and that makes up 60% of your budget, and you're trying to hold yourself to a 2% tax cap, uh, you can imagine what happens to the rest of the state funding. And so I think we can continue to see more costs headed our way um, if that formula for spending continues. Um, this year, the state was able to close their budget gap with $5.5 billion through the millionaire tax, the millionaire's tax. Um, the millionaire's tax goes into effect this year, and uh, I'm sure it'll affect uh, Mr. Colzo most of all. <laughs> um, <clears throat> The biggest changes for Lewis County, um, there has been no restoration for the severe winter weather CHIPS funding. So that's for communities that have particularly bad weather. You know, the more we run our plows and the more we put salt on our roads, the worse condition our roads, you know, become. And they cut that from the budget completely. To, for us, that's $241,000 that we, we were planning on spending. Uh, Warren did the math for us, that's 2.5 miles of road that we just won't repay this year, basically. And it's not coming back next year, um, as far as we know, either. Um, the second biggest change is the internet sales tax. So Amazon, Walmart, anything you buy online now is going to be required to pay sales tax into the state of New York. The state of New York will take it and distribute it back down just like they do any other sales tax, except they're going to skim a little off the top for the cuts that they made to aid and incentive to aid and incentives to municipalities that's your aim funding so they cut that program completely basically um so 185,000 that our towns and villages would you normally get from the state is now going to come from us the county out of our sales tax so we're giving them 185,000 but we're taking in an estimated we don't know yet but we estimate internet sales tax will be 288000 So overall, we're going to, Patty and I will watch it, but it should be a net gain of $100,000 for us. But it could have been a net gain of 288000 So um, that's, that's um, you know, a little bit disappointing. Um, criminal justice reform is the, is the biggest topic in Albany right now. This session was all about criminal justice reform, cashless bail, um, indigent defense funding, discovery reform. Leanne and the sheriff are going to give a presentation at the next um, general services committee to go over those changes. It is going to impact our budget um, going into to 2020. Um, and it could be that we might save some money because you know our jail population should be down. But on the other hand, um, just in order to process and prosecute crimes is going to be a lot more difficult. And it's going to take more uh, more hours to do that. So we'll we'll figure out how that's going to shake out once we have more information. Um, other than that, uh, oh, and uh, the last thing is marijuana. Um, we were certain everyone was certain that marijuana was going to come through this year. It was we were going to have decriminalization or legalization of marijuana. Um, there are, according to NISAC, six senators in Long Island who they're called the Long Island Six who uh, have been persuaded by PTOs and unions, fire and, fire and uh, police unions, to vote no on this issue. So they're six votes short, and uh, it's uncertain whether marijuana is going to happen this year or not, but it's looking like it's not going to happen. So um, I also got a state uh, impact report for Lewis County. If anyone wants a copy, let me know. It's about 50 pages long, but it goes through every single change in the state policy and budget and it projects an impact on to Lewis County's finances. So that's my report, thank you. Questions for Ryan? 
Politically. Any word on the movement with regards to the district attorney's office? Um, no, it made it through Senate committee last week. I think you and I talked, uh, or at, it, was, it was our committee day. I was texting with uh, the legislative representative at NISAC. Um, what I'm hearing from NISAC and from Ken Blankenbush's office is that it will be passed on the last day of session like with all the other home rule initiatives. So it's just how they treat all the other local issues. They ball them up at once and do them on the last day. Of course, that's what we thought last year too. So yeah. okay. we'll see. Thank you. Thank you, Ryan. Patty, treasurer's report, please. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. <clears throat> I have the balances. Special legislative contingency is 99,942. Regular contingency is 189,475. Capital data processing is 66,173.64. Capital equipment, highway share, 61,351.30. County share, 413,344.56. Sales tax to date, 3,230,352.33. We are on budget. And then the internal service fund, um, cash is 4,668,572. And fund balance is 4,577,219.83. And that's all I have, Mr. Chairman, unless anyone has any questions. Questions for Patty? Yeah, Chairman, uh, I noticed that Jerry from the hospital is here tonight, and he wasn't here when I did mine. If he had something to add at this time, could we allow him to? Certainly. Jerry, you got anything for the group tonight? Not specifically, okay. and I'm not sure. Did no. you review from the minutes? Yeah, I covered the minutes. And, and I would have Okay, thank you. Thank you. Good. Thanks. Yes, sir. <coughs> Um, so we're a little bit short on the public hearing. We have to wait for the people. It is five five thirty, so we should wait. We should wait. We just did great. Okay. Um, we'll just go on. We can go into the Okay. Report of the Finance and Rules Committee per Rule Seventy. The Finance and Rules Committee reports that they have examined the claims presented for payment in the full amount of $976,719.85 and recommend that they be audited and allowed for the amounts claimed. There's a motion. Great. Second by Dick. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Carries. First resolution then is auditing and allowing the claims to be amount of 976-719-85. Moved by Gary, second by Greg. Roll the discussion. Roll call, please, Gary. Burns. Yes. Sharkman. Yes. Kings. Yes. Calder. Yes. Bashoks. Yes. Layman. Yes. Marvian. Yes. Osborne. Yes. Yes. Fixing data public hearing, local law, introductory number one, providing for installment payment of real property town and county taxes in Lowell County. Moved by Randy, second by Tom. Discussion? All in favor? Uh, yes. Opposed? Carried. To amend and adopt the standing rules of the Board of Representatives of Lowell County. Moved by Jerry, second by John. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Carries. Appropriate funds, community services. Moved by Andrea, second by Tom. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Carries. To appropriate funds, community services. Moved by Tom, second by Andrea. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Carries. Authorizing the lease agreement with Ed and Ed Business Technologies for postage meter, county mail. Moved by 
Jury second by great discussion. All in favor? Opposed? Carries. Increasing district attorney's salary pursuant to New York State budget mandate and judiciary law. Moved by Jerry, <coughs> second by Dick. Discussion. All in favor? <laughs> Aye. Opposed? Aye. 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 Okay. You want a roll call? Sir? We need a roll call. The only problem with this is um, that we have to do this and we're paying interest on money to the DA until we finally pay it. Matter of fact, thank you. So keep that in mind. Roll call, please. Burns? No. Chartrand? Yes. King? Yes. Calzer? No. Lachos? No. Lehman? No. Marahan? No. Mosier? Absent. Osborne? No. Doha? Yes. Defeated. To establish policy on Homeland Security Grant Administration Procedures for the Lewis County Departments of Emergency Management, Sheriff, and Public Health. Moved by Jerry, second by Greg. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Carried. Appropriate funds, emergency management. Moved by Randy, second by Andrea. Discussion? Is Harrisville the only place that this is at? Or? Or That's recovering for a damaged vehicle. This is 178. 178. My 178 is for, uh, yeah, okay, for the deer. I, w I jumped one. Okay, thank you. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Yep. Opposed? They're usually on one page jobs. 179, authorizing one time payment and agreement between county and project safe community. Moved by John, second by Tom. Discussion? This is where I had the question is that the only place that this exists? It sounds like a good deal. It's only in there, so. No problem with it. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Don't stay. Okay. John abstains. Uh, opposed? Motion carries. Transfer funds, Harrisville Project Safe Committee. Moved by Tom, second by Randy. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Carries. Authorizing agreement between county and Stan Tech Consulting Services. Moved by Randy, second by Jerry. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Uh, opposed? Jerry. <coughs> Authorizing Lewis County to join with other counties in civil litigation against pharmaceutical manufacturers. Moved by Dick, second by Ron. Discussion? <coughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Jerry. Authorizing the agreement between County and Larry and Lucy Green for non secure detention facility. Moved by Tom, second by Andrea. Discussion? In favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Carried. <coughs> Authorizing addendum to agreement between Public Health and Bernie Boss for transportation of preschool children. Moved by Ron, second by Jerry. Discussion? Oh, okay. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? And show great abstains. Motion carries. Okay. I'll ask the question later. Go ahead. I guess the question is, is 
I leave somebody that wasn't transporting before? I mean, like parents and stuff used to, or is this special kind of special needs? This is Ashley can probably help fill in the gaps here, but this is for our preschool program through, um, I think, through public health. And this is taking the existing contract and extending it another three years, I think. If I could just add to that, it's also um, covering an, a, a, a specific category of rider, and it's a child who has to be um, transported from a longer distance, and it ends up being just the one bus that has to do, has to do that run. And it's a, a costly run, so they created another category for payment for just that uh, for that specific case. No, Is that okay. right? Uh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. My apologies, Jerry, for the question. Oh, that's all right. Okay. Authorizing New York State consolidated funding grant applications by Department of Recreation, Forestry, and Parks. Move by Ron, second by Jerry. Discussion. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Carries. Resolution number 186 has been withdrawn. Resolution 187, authorizing agreement with David Rosman. Moved by Jerry, second by Dick. Discussion. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Authorizing renewal agreement with Frontier Communications. Moved by Randy, second by Ron. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Carries. To appropriate funds, E911. Moved by Ron, second by Dick. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Carried. To transfer funds, Sheriff's Department. Moved by Jerry, second by Tom. Discussion. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Carried. To appropriate funds, Sheriff's Department. Moved by Tom, second by Greg. Discussion. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Carried. To appropriate funds, Sheriff's Department. Moved by Randy, second by somebody to bring Greg. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Carried. To transfer funds, Sheriff's <coughs> Department. Moved by Jerry, second by Greg. Discussion. All in favor? Whoops, sorry, Dick, go ahead. Yeah, did we get any more info on the, whether the F-350 was needed or an F-250? We, we talked in committee about wouldn't an F-250 handle it. Did we have any more input on that? That's where we left. That's where we left it, okay. Yeah. My recollection was that uh, the 250 that they had is underpowered, and that's why they wanted to move to a 350. So they're getting rid of a 250. Yeah, we're, uh, we're, if I could, just a second, Mr. Chairman. We're actually doing a three for two trade. So two cruisers are coming off. These two trucks are coming on. I'm sorry, the existing pickup truck that you guys see bowing around Montague with the trails, that's coming off. We're selling it. The existing dually that Bob McKenzie has will come off, and one of their cruisers will come off. So these two come on. Three are coming on. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? To transfer funds, E911. Moved by Jerry, second by Tom. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Jerry. Authorizing discharge of mortgage. Moved by John, second by Tom. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Carries. 
In support of New York State proposed Senate Bill 6017 and Senate Bill 1632 of 2019. Moved by John, second by Tom. Discussion? In favor? Yes. Uh, opposed? Motion carries. Authorizing the agreement between DSS and Cornell Corporate Extension. Moved by Jerry, second by Greg. Discussion? All in favor? Opposed? Carries. Authorizing an agreement between DSS and Lewis County Opportunities for Homeless Apartment Initiative. Moved by Andrea, second by Tom. Discussion? <laughs> All in favor? Opposed? Carries. Authorizing agreements between DSS and various foster care agencies. Moved by Andrea, second by Greg. Discussion? All in favor? Opposed? Carries. To appropriate funds, social services. Moved by Ron, second by Greg. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Carries. To authorize creating and abolishing certain positions in the Department of Social Services. Moved by Tom. Second by Randy. Discussion. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? <laughs> Carried. To appropriate funds, stop DWI. Moved by, moved by Jerry. Second by Randy. Discussion. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Carried. To create and appropriate funds for Careers Here program. Moved by Andrea, second by Greg. Discussion. Jerry. For creating this, this is just uh, temporary or with the funding or the sunset eventually. Okay, thank you. All in favor? All in favor? Okay. Opposed? Carried. Authorizing agreement between County and Miller Engineers. Moved by Jerry, second by Tom. Discussion. All in favor? Yeah. Opposed? Carried. Authorizing grant extension amendment with New York State and extension agreement with Clark Patterson Lee. Moved by Jerry, second by Dick. Discussion. All in favor? Uh, opposed? Carried. Approving appointments to Jefferson Lewis Workforce Development Board. Moved by Andrea, second by town. Discussion. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Carried. To transfer funds, Workforce Investment Opportunity Act. Moved by town, second by Ron. Discussion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Carries. Appointing student representatives, Lewis County Youth Bureau Advisory Board. Moved by John, second by Andrea. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Carries. To transfer funds, Youth Bureau. Moved by John, second by Tom. Discussion? All in favor? Carried. State Resolution 210, authorizing agreement between Public Health and Health Management Associates. Moved by Greg, second by Tom. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Carried. To create the Lewis County Agriculture Sustainability Council and point members. Moved by Tom, second by Jerry. Discussion. All in favor? Opposed? Moving carries. Appointing member to Lewis County Planning Board. Moved by Rod, second by Dick. Discussion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Carried. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
anyone here that would like to comment on the public hearing for the potential use of the decommissioned schools? If not, we will close that public hearing. <coughs> uh, do we have any other business? No other business? Motion we'll to adjourn. Tom, Ron, seconds. All in favor? Aye. 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 Aye